you know, here we have this booming wine industry based on about 600 acres uh, under vine right now in Nova Scotia. And, you know, there is a little bit of a scramble for grapes. The grapes are super precious and everybody's trying to get like every single berry off every vine. When we looked at uh, apple uh, as a source of fruit, and you see that there's about 10 times the acreage with very little going into processing for cider, we found that really encouraging. My interest in apples comes from a, from a love of science, so I'm a scientist by trade and I've always been interested in breeding and breeding new apples. I kind of came to discover all this wonderful variation and thought, wouldn't it be nice to not only study it scientifically, but maybe we could use that for something and turn it into a commercial product. People here have a connection to apples that runs really, really deep. Mm -hmm. And there was no, there were a few opportunities to experience it. So where you could come into a, a space and really taste it and feel it and get educated about the varieties of apples you grow and that sort of thing. And we thought that this was just really the ideal location to do it would be in downtown Wolf. The whole idea, as Sean was saying, is that we wanted to connect people with the product. And doing that means giving them the experience and showing them how it's done. That when we had three products to start with, we had the crisp and dry, uh, what is now called the classic, and we had this idea of something different, something that changed, and it didn't change necessarily seasonally. We wanted to change every time the tank emptied. And I remember sitting around the table at the beginning trying to figure out what, it call, what to call it. You know, and we're, and we're thinking, you know, well, every time we do it, we'll do something different. And that kept them coming we, up. What should we call it? What should and we I call think, it? And yeah. I think somebody eventually yeah, think just I... said something different. Something different is one, not just one product. Um, every time we fill up a tank and, uh, with something different, it's on tap for a certain length of time. When it's empty, we make something new. Hence the, hence the name something different. Often the something different are fruit and infused with something. Um, uh, I think one of Melanie's uh, uh, most interesting and daring ones, if I, if I may say, was Earl Blue. So it was blueberry juice, freshly pressed well blueberry juice, with, infused with Earl Grey tea. I think that one was a little bit out there for people and I sort of had to make a secret trial and be like, okay, let's, let's blueberries, blueberry and maple, blueberry and, and mint, blueberry and what if we were to try Earl Grey tea? You know, blueberries and citrus go so well together. Earl Grey tea has um, bergamot oranges flavor infused in it, and that one worked incredibly well. Great cider can only be made if you have really great fruit. And so it all starts here in the orchard, making sure that we have the best fruit possible and working with the growers really carefully to make sure that we get into the press the kinds of fruit that are going to make an ultra-premium product.